guys, um, welcome back to my 19th episode, I believe it is. Wow, almost 20. I can't believe I've actually gotten this far already. It feels like I didn't, feels like I just started not that long ago. But anyways, um, today I've got a few things planned. Should be pretty cool. First thing I'm going to do, actually I'm going to need some stuff for. Um, first thing I want to do is show you what I, uh, not what I made, but what I finished. And it's going to be kind of hard right now because there's a giant cloud covering it. But I guess it'll be cool. Watch. And here we go. The balloon is finished. I'll go up there and show you. But, um, yeah, I what I did is I just finished it, rounded off the edges, and called it good for now. And I just have this for now, uh, this little entrance, because um, if I need to get inside here for any reason, it's useful. So yeah, I lit it up really well, and that kind of leads to what I want to talk to um, you and you, derp. <laughs> um, so I want this whole entire steampunk area I'm going to be building to be mob proof. Uh, so either lit up or half slabs or water or whatever, whatever works. Um, so that when I switch it to hard mode, there's not going to be any mobs. <laughs> but I'm kind of cheating. But yeah, this, I've checked everything. There's no way any mobs could spawn. Let me just double check this though. This looks kind of weird. Yeah, it's, no mobs can spawn here. I'm positive. So anyways. Um, oh, I don't have any wool on me, so I'll just leave this. What I want to do in this episode, one of the things I want to do, I should say, is um, I want to go up there and decorate the balloon. Uh oh, Hold on. I hate going down this. Oh, that was a close one. I shouldn't make things like that because when I if I die, then all my stuff will fall off the edge. Oh, look at that. I already had everything I needed. Wow, I came all the way down here for nothing. Alright. Um, I've got other some other few things planned. I want to actually start working on the airship after I get this balloon decorated. And um, I also want to start making a little island thing uh, to make my house on. So that should be fun. And here we go. I'll just do that for now. So let's see. I'm just going to make a whole bunch of these. I'm going to be mostly using spruce and oak because they're cool. So yeah. I'm just going to start. I'm going to. This is going to add some shape to the, the balloon. Not really shape, but a lot of structure too. Um, which will be good because right now, well if you're not really a fan of how it looks right now, I'm pretty sure you're uh, doing this will change your mind. So, wait a minute. Oh, okay, that's right. I thought I messed up on the balloon for a second and I didn't. That will have been bad. And now we can go like this. So I'm pretty much just gonna um, make like little rings around the balloon all across. Um, you'll be watching me do it, but I have a little story that for some reason I thought of today. Not that I remembered it, not that I thought of it. Um, it's a true story. And it's just kind of short and it's really random. But in Wyoming, uh, let's see, this summer I went to my grandparents' house um, in California. Uh, so there they have like a lot of bugs and stuff and spiders and stuff um, and uh, I remember going to bed on the sleeping bag and I woke up I was like half asleep I felt something under me and I get up and there's a beetle running away from the light so I was a bit freaked out but I was half asleep so when I woke up like, I fell right back asleep after I saw the beetle run away, because I was just super tired. And when I woke up, it just took me a minute to realize 
that that just happened, but it was really weird. It was huge. It wasn't just like a tiny little bug. It was, I don't know. Um, let's see. I need to make fences. So yeah, it was a huge little bugger, but um, probably the size of like, like a palm. And then if you take the palm, you kind of squish it. Not maybe not that big, but it was a pretty big guy. Um, and then another thing that happened is that my stepbrother, um, well, we were driving somewhere. I think it was like a fireworks show because it was the uh, it was April fourth. Or what? April fourth? Where did I come? Up? Where did I come up with that? Ugh. Um, it was the fourth of July. And hold on, let me focus. Fourth of July, and my stepbrother uh, always wore this hat. And I look at his hat when we're in the car, and it has this big old June bug. Why did I just make ladders? I don't know. But there's this big old June bug hanging off the edge of his hat. And so we pretty much like chucked his hat at the, out the window. And then we had to go pick it back up, but it was really funny. Yeah, there's a lot of bugs and stuff in California. So, yeah, I have no idea why I just thought of that today. Um, but, yeah, let's see. I want to show you, before I cut the video, I just want to show you um, what... I'm going to be doing with the fences, and then the rest I'm pretty much just going to be kind of repeating. Um, so yeah. Alright, that should be enough fences for now. Let's go all the way up here. I need a very fast way of traveling because it's getting old. I need like ender pearls, except for me to actually want to use ender pearls, I'm going to want an ender ender. So that's going to take me a while. And I'm not very excited about going to the end. Um, but it'll have to happen eventually, I guess. And hold on. Let me get my cobble, my cobblestone. Eh? And we just take these fences. And what is happening? Why I be glitching? I did not know. But we just put them in between here. Um, like this, and this is like a ring. Oh, the only thing I'm missing is that I need to fix this wool part too, but uh, I need to put stairs and like half slabs on these so it looks a bit more smooth. But I'm just gonna also make a middle ring right here, um, and I'm gonna do some other stuff. I'll leave it as a surprise, even though it's you're gonna see it in just a few seconds, so cutting the video, but yeah. So I'll be back now. All right, we're back. So um, this little thingy of bobber, um, I don't know. I don't really know what it's called, <laughs> to be honest. But um, it kind of adds some structure to it. So I did the top, and then I also made it go to this. Are you kidding me? Let me just cut the video and let me get back up there. Well, actually, I might be able to see. It actually looks better from below. Eh. Here, I'll just show you. But, uh, let's see. I just did it on the sides, kind of made it wrap around. And I'm going to wait to do the bottom. Um, oops, cave noise. I'm going to wait to do the bottom um, until I actually get the ship, because it'll be easier since I have something to stand on. And I also need to get rid of all the scaffolding, because that's pretty ugly. And as you can see, my pickaxe only has one more hit left on it. Oh, somehow it's at durability zero out of like 7, 1561. So I don't really know how that's possible, but I know that it's going to break soon. Um, let me get back up here. Ugh, this is terrible. This is wasting so much time on my episode. Yeah, I'm really glad that I'm building over an ocean because normally if I take a fall like that, I fall straight to the ground, I die. And yeah, but here it's perfectly fine. Oh, I guess now I can do this like that. And alright, 
Now let's take a look at what we got. So I just wrapped it around the sides and then here what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill it in with like brown stained clay or something and I put, I'm going to put glowstone and then trap doors over it. Sorry. Um, and it, it, I've already tested it and it looks really good. I just don't have the resources in this world yet. So I'm probably going to have to get some clay and stuff and need to, I need to go to the nether again. Ugh, I hate that place. I could also use like pumpkin heads or something um, for lighting, but whatever works. And yeah, there's not much else, I guess, um, to show you, as you can see. It's kind of like a repeating pattern. But now what I want to work on, whoops, is I need to make the actual sheep. Here, I'm just going to fall. Oh, that was a close one. So I'm going to make the ship at this level. Oh, you hear a really loud high pitched noise. Oh, sorry. All right. Um, I'm going to make the ship at this level. Um, this is going to be the bottom of the ship, so it doesn't seem as far away as it normally would. Um, but yeah, I'm going to start it and give you guys some progress updates. So I'll be back. Alright guys, um, it's actually the next day, but anyways, <laughs> um, so I've basically made this little platform, and this is going to be the base of the little, um, you know, like on a pirate ship, the little spot that goes down. I just blanked on what it's called. Man, I'm really not good at this, but anyways, this is going to be the bottom of that, and then it's going to, like, I'm going to make it come out on the sides a bit, so it looks like a ship. And yeah, I think I'm just going to keep showing you after I do a few layers and stuff. But this is kind of tricky because I'm trying to get it, uh, trying to copy it from my creative world on the here. And I have to keep like quitting this world and then going into my steampunk world. Um, and like looking very closely of how it's built. So this might take me a while. But yeah, I'm still going to do it. All right. So it's kind of hard to tell from this angle, but you can see that the um, the boat is starting to take place. Not take place, take shape. <laughs> um, uh, the airship, boat, whatever what it's called. It looks like a boat, pretty much, that's floating in the air. But anyways, uh, yeah, it's starting to take shape, and um, got a few more layers on it. But what, as I was adding a few, uh, adding a few layers, I was just kind of placing the blocks like this, blah, blah, blah. And as I was doing that, I accidentally pressed Q and my axe just goes flying into the water and I'm way too lazy to go make a new one. So I dove down in there, somehow managed to pick up my axe and then swam back up and somehow survived because that's deep water. But I don't know, I thought I'd just share that with you guys. I thought that was a bit funny, but so kind of scary. Not really that scary, but yeah, sorry, I'm eating a pretzel, <laughs> whatever. Um, I'm gonna work on this more, and I'll be back. All right, guys. Um, so I've actually finished a lot of it. Um, this is actually where you're gonna walk around and stuff, and this is where I'm gonna build. And first of all, in this snapshot, there's a lot of lighting glitches. I hope they fix in the 1.8 release because, like this. This should not be happening. This does not happen in 1.7. Um, and yeah, it's just really weird. If, if if I put light here, nothing happens. Even if I put light here, nothing happens. So it's not really much I can do. Wait, I just thought of something. How about... Nope, does nothing. So yeah, I don't really know exactly what to do about that, except for wait for a more stable snapshot. Uh, perhaps, but yeah, um, I had to take out a lot of the scaffolding because the ship got in the way. I think I might have already said that though. And let's see, what else? Oh, I actually ran out of wood. So I went over to that taiga biome I found a way long time ago, and I just chopped it up. Um, and I actually got a little bit of moss stone. Um, 
which is nice. Hold on, it's a loud helicopter or something like that. Alright, I think it's good now. My only complaint about this house that I moved into is that occasionally it's this isn't a big complaint or anything bad, really, but um, occasionally there will be a plane that flies by and it's pretty loud, but really it only passes by like to every hour, even less. But anyways, um, as you can see, I didn't really get to doing this part, and... Yeah, this is probably going to be in a different episode. This is the part I'm most worried about because it's going to be even harder uh, than the balloon since um, I'm going to be using half slabs and stairs and stuff. I've already done it, but it's just a matter of copying it in here, as I said before. And, yeah. Um, let's see. I think I'm going to take a mini break in this episode from the ship, and, ooh, that would have been bad if I didn't make that, um, I think I'm going to work, at, work on an island, oh, keep voice cracking, I'm going to work on an island, and that's where I'm going to put my house, so I can work on two projects at once, um, but I'm going to do a little bit of planning, so I will be back. Alright guys, so I found the spot that I want to start making the island. This is going to be the bottom of the, of the island, and um, so you guys know, um, I like starting from the bottom. Start off from the bottom, now I <laughs> um, I like starting from the bottom because it's a lot easier in survival mode, um, and also when you're making islands in general, um, it's just easier to start from the bottom. Um, but like for the ship and stuff and creative, I would never start it like that and stuff. So um, I'm probably also going to be making a Let's Build series and I'm going to start it off with how to make that airship. Because if, say, someone uh, wants to make an airship like this, um, they're probably not going to want to watch a whole Let's Play because a Let's Play is more about like, in my opinion, it's more about showing like progression and stuff. Um, and like doing cool things in survival. I don't know. Um, but anyways, back to the point. Um, what I like to do when I start my islands is I kind of like to make a little basic shape to start out with. So I guess I can make something like this. Oops. Alright. Like, hold on. I don't know. This is not turning out very good. It looked a lot better than it looked a lot better than I did in creative. <laughs> I guess this is a good one. It doesn't have to be perfect, obviously, because it's supposed to look a bit natural. Um, so then what I do is I kind of stack up on top of it, <coughs> and then I extend out and I keep doing layers over and over again. Um, and then once you get to a pretty good ah oh, these annoying clouds. Um, once you get to a pretty good layer, then um, you can start branching off and making other like small little islands coming off of it. I don't know how to explain it, but I really like the effect it makes. It makes it look nice. Um, whoops, that can stay. I don't have a lot of smooth stone. Um, what I did is I just went, took a silk touch, went down in my old mine. Um, and just got everything I could. Well, not everything I could, but you know what I mean. Um, let me see what this looks like. That's a good. That's a good start. Well, anyways, I'm gonna keep making these layers, and I will be back. I say that every single time I make a cut. I think it's starting to get annoying. Well, anyways, I will be back. <laughs> All right. Now that you've got this little island thing, I've kind of built up. A bit. Um, wait a minute. Hold on. Oh, I just lost a little bugger. Here, let's get this like this, and this and this. All right, sorry. Do some little fix-ups. Um, so once you got this, then what you can do is you can make. I don't know, like 
just need to pick a spot and kind of make another shape like we did before at the beginning. And kind of, yeah, this is a good shape. I think this might have been the exact same thing we made below. I have no idea. But anyways, um, now we take this and we go up like this. I don't know. It's kind of place, not exactly block spin is crack. Wow, I keep doing that today. Not exactly block, block spamming, but um, kind of like, I don't know. I don't really know. <laughs> uh, it's just something that you kind of learn as you go on and not mess up like that. Um, <laughs> yeah, let's see if I can get this kind of now what we want to do, we don't want just like a straight little diagonal line. We want to kind of change it up. So I'm going to add in like this and um, maybe right here. So I'm not the best at doing this, but I've kind of practiced a little bit. Um, so yeah, I'm not, obviously, I just said this. Uh, I'm not the best. There's many people out there who are a lot the better, a lot better than me. Ugh. I'm terrible at speaking sometimes. Um, so yeah, basically you just kind of want to come up, come out a few layers like this, um, and then I'll come back to you when it's time to, uh, time to add the grass and the dirt. All right, guys, I'm back. So, um, basically what I did now is away, <laughs> um, is I just got some more dirt and I also went around here and fixed up some of the spots that were, um, a bit too, hold on, I need to fix something up here right now, but a bit too, like, flimsy, um, they look like they, they can just, like, break off, like a little cracker or something, I don't know where a cracker came up, came up, but, um, <laughs> yeah, um, just kind of filling it in a little bit, making it look a bit more like firm and stuff, like an actual floating island. Um, and then now what we can do is, I guess this is the final, well one of the final parts. I want to do one more little thing after this. Um, so we can just make our dirt. Do the same thing we did with the stone, except for the dirt. Um, and well, it takes a lot longer than it used to, because there's a lot more built up. All right. I also got a little bit of grass on me that I silk touched because I don't want this uh, just to be dirt. Um, I want it to look like grass. And so, yeah, if you didn't already know, um, if you just have dirt, it's not going to grow grass because grass spreads. Um, so, yeah. And also, I've been thinking about using a different recording program. Um, this is not really anything like, important that you guys need to know, but I just like talking about it. Um, right now I'm using Fraps, but I'm thinking, I'm thinking about using DX Tori because um, it's supposed to be a lot better and stuff. I've kind of read about it. Um, and yeah, I think that might be cool. So hold on, let me get some more dirt. Now that we've got one layer, um, we just need to kind of bring it out like this. You've already seen me do this with the stone. So I'm gonna cut the, cut the um, video, video. Uh, so I can add a few more layers. I'm just going to add like two or three or whatever. I don't know how many. All right, guys, I'm back. Um, I just did like two or three or so layers. I have no idea, really. Um, and so now the finishing touch. I'm just going to put in some grass blocks. Um, here we go. I don't know, I just want to spread them out so that it goes really fast. If you clump them all together, then it, will, it won't grow as fast, obviously. So I'm just going to spread
spread these out. And then there's one more thing I want to do. And that is to make a water ball. Whoops. I use my slip touch on this guy. Alright. Um, sorry, I'm being really quiet. So I want to make a waterfall. Um, I think it'll look cool uh, the way like it's going to fall um, off the island into the water down there. But um, let's see. Oh, I need to make a lake first so that the waterfall isn't just magically having water. It actually has a, a water source that it's coming from. Um, and yeah, so I'm probably going to make it see we see. And I'm trying to decide which part of the island I want to make it. Um, I think, I don't know. I might make it like right here. Oh, and the rain. There goes my frames. So I'm going to kind of um, go like this. And I actually need a lot of water. So, uh, not that much water, but quite a bit. Um, just an infinite source. Anyways, I don't know why I'm even saying this. <laughs> um, but let me first just make kind of the little thingy in the jigger. I think that's okay for now. Um, Hmm. Hmm. This is kind of bothering me right here. Maybe if I add something like that. I don't want to make it look man-made, which is a problem, but I also need to make it look good. <laughs> but I think this is okay. I don't want it too big because I don't want it to take up the whole island. This is where my house is going to be and it's already a bit small. Um, Luckily, with steampunk, like a steampunk theme, though, um, you kind of work your way up. So, yeah, it won't be too big of a deal, but I'm going to go get some water, and then we'll be back. Alright, guys. Um, so I put in the water, and I'm not so sure about how this looks. Um, I might need to change it eventually, but maybe it'll warm up on me. Um, Sometimes that happens, I make something I don't like it at first, but eventually I like it. Um, it could be. It could be terrible. Um, it could also be just what I said. Derp. <laughs> um, but I think that's it for, day, for today, guys. Um, I'm going to have to get rid of some of the scaffolding up there. Um, and... I think I need to get rid of some of the scaffolding down here. Well, anyways, I need to get rid of all the scaffolding uh, um, eventually when I'm done using it. But I'm probably going to do some extra things off camera. So stay tuned for next episode. Leave a like, subscribe, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Bye.